is up everyone and welcome back to what is most likely the final recording session for Muvlov Extra. We have one last route to go down which is Chizuru's, the one route I just, I don't know, I haven't really been looking forward to. Not that I don't, it's not that I don't want to go down it, it's just that, I don't know, there's never been like that push for me to really want to go down it. Like, when I started the game, I was just, I was excited to see what my options were. And of course, I was, I gravitated towards Sumika right away. After finishing Sumika's route, I was really excited to go down both Ayamine's and Miki's. I was like, yes, I had the motive, I was pumped, hyped, ready to do it. Then after going down all three of those, I, you know, after going through those three, I started to build up, you know, a little bit of excitement to see what May about what Ma, yeah, Maya's was about. I was like, okay, what, what's, what's Maya got in store for us? I went down that route, it was all great and whatnot. But now with Chizuru, like, I don't, there's not that push for me to want to do it. There's there's nothing in there to where I'm just like, yeah, I can't fucking wait to go down Chizuru's route, see what it's about. It's like, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do it, just so I can round it all off, get the, get all five, be good, but like, I don't know. It's just, there's not that, that drive to fucking get it done, see what's going on. But regardless, still gonna do it, obviously. But anyway, as per usual, I'm gonna be skipping through all the shit we've seen before. Though, there's quite a few things with Chizuru we, I'm sure we haven't seen yet. But, without further ado, I'm gonna pause the timer there. I didn't even start the timer. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm gonna pause here, and I'll cut ahead to when there's actual new shit happening. So, until then. Alrighty, so we're back. This is um, during. after the uh, second lunchtime encounter. Um. Obviously, we fled, so now we're deciding whether we go to roo the roof, the prep room, or the courtyard. I'm almost certain Chizuru is going to be in the courtyard. Hmm? Uh huh. Is that class rep over there? She's eating her lunch on a bench in the courtyard. Hey! Class rep! Eh? What are you doing out here? Shirogane kun koso, shokuji wa doushita no yo. Don't worry about it. I ran away from it. Eh? I mean, in a situation like that, isn't it wrong to choose one lunch over the other? Oh. So what about yourself, class rep? Why are you eating lunch out here? Aren't you cold? No, but I could be your daddy. I mean, what? Jeez, why do you always have to pounce on me like that for every little thing I say? She's got you there, buddy. What do you mean? Is this about what I said earlier about the lacrosse team? Didn't I apologize for that already? Big facts. I gotta agree with Chizuru here on that one. God, you're such a hard ass. So why did you come all the way out here to eat? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, does this bench have your name on it or something? I didn't realize. Well, looks like quite the tasty lunch you got there. Did your mom make it for you? No real reason, just curious. Just the way it's all presented kind of gives off that impression somehow. I, I'm, I don't know at what point I was being condescending about your lunch, but okay. Come on, you know that's not what I meant. Besides, whoever said anything about rice balls being only for poor people? Fine, you win. I'll leave you alone. Uh. <laughs> mm, nope, not a bite. The cafeteria is probably sold out by now, though. What? Oh, what a great idea. Hadn't even occurred to me. Get. Uh. だ、ダメだってば。いくら物欲しそうに見たって。分かったわよ。イエーイ。でもそんなにあげられないわよ。I can see that. I'm impressed you can get by on so little. The lunchbox looks small enough to fit in my hands. It's half filled with rice and half filled with other foods. Wait, that's her entire lunchbox? Oh. 
Oh. So I guess Chizuru has like an inferiority complex because she's raised poor or something. I'm, I'm guessing this is the vibe I'm getting from this. I could probably finish it in two, maybe three bites. Class rep flips her chopsticks around to make to pick out pieces for me and place them on the inside of the lid uh, to her lunchbox. Ah, uh, not to worry. So hands are for. Hi. Ah, thanks. Never thought that class rep would end up saving my life one day. Bean curd, finely chopped vegetables, boiled taro. It's a good old-fashioned Japanese lunch. I'm complimenting it. It looks delicious. Mmm, and it is. Rum's a pretty good cook. Huh? Ooh, does she have a not so good relationship with her mom? Feel that. What's her problem? Okay, so you made this yourself then. Class rep, that's amazing. Alright, sore subject, my bad. Well, whoever made it sure tastes good. <laughs> Using my fingers, I eat the share in no time. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Wait the tissue. <laughs> oh, thanks. I hand the lid back to class rep, she places it on her lunchbox and then returns the box to her bag. Huh? I would never. Fine, fine. Yeah, that's what you think. You're leaving already? Well, didn't you come here because you needed to do something? I see. Facts. Huh? <laughs> Damn. Talk about stingy. Alright, fine. Who knows when that might come back to bite me. Okay, so I think we're back to shit we've seen before. This is a nice little interaction. I like these little interactions between them. It's this thing, I don't dislike Chizuru, it's just like, so far I haven't had like, a reason to like, really, actually like her. I'm hoping that early on during this common route as we uncover more shit, I'll have more of a, more of a drive to learn more about her. But so we get to new shit. Okay, so now we're at the point. Takeru, Takeru didn't do his worksheet, of course. So of course he had Miki sneak in and pull out a random worksheet. And of course, whose worksheet did we pull out? It's Sakaki Ch Ch Chizuru's. Wrong button. That can't be good. She's the one who collected and delivered the papers in this can end well for me. Still, it's gotta be the best possible paper to copy off of. Let's just go for it. But man, Class Rep's handwriting is really angular. Her personality couldn't be any more obvious. What is that supposed to mean? She uses a lot of pressure on the paper too. You can tell she's writing with confidence. I'm dead meat if she finds out I took this. I'll have to be real careful. While she turns around, what paper is this? Okay, I think this is all old shit. So yeah, just that little bit about taking Chizuru's paper, but until there's new shit. Alright, and we're back. We have fled lunch once again. Gotten out of there. Peaced out. We're done. We're outie. But now, we're going back to the courtyard. Hey, class rep. You're here again today, I see. Yes. May I? Ah, oh, gee. Here, I was totally sure that my good old pal class rep would come to my rescue. Hey, listen to this. You'll never believe what Sumika did earlier. I told you last time, this bench is public property. So anyway, she poured steak sauce into the hot pot. Uh, one with sanaki udon and chicken broth. Lunch. My lunch. Today. Why else would I be this upset? Uh, whoops. <laughs> no, you're making a huge mistake. Sumika was the one. Okay, 
No, I'm trying to tell you, I. Mitsurugi san wa, ima made no sekats ga amari ni mo watashi tachi to kake hanarete ita yo da kara, ome ni mite iru tokoro mo aru kedo. Listen to me, Sumika was the one who brought in the hot plate. I didn't do anything. Sumika brought in a pot and hot plate to compete with Maya. We were all gonna eat from it together, but then she went and poured steak sauce into it. So, so that no. Yeah, I'm not a complete dipshit, thank you. Who'd she think she was who'd she think was gonna eat that? Who puts Tabasco and wasabi in their stew? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for saving my hide again today, class rep. Yeah, <laughs> How so? Makes you say that. Yeah, I know that then what should I have done? Just gone hungry? <laughs> what? How can a class representative be so heartless? Honestly, I feel bad. Like, fucking Takeru, like, like, yeah, nothing in his pa in these past routes have shown him to be really compassionate at all really caring about other people's situations but looking at the small lunch that Chizuru has and this dude's mooching off of it that is so fucking rude that is so fucked okay Sumika and Maya made him lunches he was fed when he ran away to Ayamine she had a backup sandwich for him she was prepared for him all right what happened with Miki you know Miki she brought him like snacks and shit, but she had something specifically for him. She wanted to give him something. She doesn't have much. She doesn't want to give because she has very little, which honestly makes the gesture even that much more fucking special, I guess, honestly. The fact that she is willing to be like, yeah, no, I don't have shit, but I mean, I, I guess. Like, unfortunately, it's not r truly out of the kindness of her heart. It's more like she's being pressured into it and she's just trying to shut the dude up. Which, honestly, feel that. But, uh, I feel bad. Of course, Class Rep Sama. Hi. Class Rep hands me your lunchbox lid with a piece of shumai and croquette on top. That fish you've got there looks mighty tasty. You asshole, she gives you something and you're like, but what about that? Why not? Is it your favorite or something? So? I don't care. <laughs> she doesn't want that indirect lip contact, no, I'm saying. <laughs> There's nothing embarrassing about finishing someone else's leftovers, is there? Then what did you mean? Now I'm curious. Wait, is that all? Wow, class rep. That's a weird thing to be self-conscious about. Who cares about what someone else chooses to eat? Oh man, this shumai is great. So is this croquette. I once went a whole week with nothing but rice and pickled plums in my lunch. People sure felt bad for me back then. <laughs> This was when my grandpa got pretty ill and my mom went back to her hometown to be with him. There are all these weird rumors flying around about my dad being laid off or something. Oh. Well, I think I'd better stop there. If I took any more, there wouldn't be any left for you. Hi. Huh? Oh, right, thanks. I hand the lid back to class rep. She places it on her lunchbox and then returns the box to her bag. Huh? I already told you I wouldn't do that. Jeez. Huh? Okay. I'll be counting on you if I'm ever in a tight spot again. Baka. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll make sure you return the favor. I thought she said I'll make sure I'll return the favor. I was like, oh, that's strange. 
this is like no, no I'll make sure you return the favor. That's that's a bit more like what I'd expect. Yeah, yeah. And pausing. So yeah, th these moments they're nice. But I just I don't know. Anyway, till there's new shit. Yeah, all right. It's the day of the cook-off, and we're sitting here wondering, ah, uh, who's who would I like to check in with? Obviously, right now it's gotta be class rep. Definitely class rep. Given her perfectionist nature, I'm sure I can count on her making something that's at least pretty good. Yeah, maybe. Oh god. I'm very curious to see what her reaction is gonna be. Every because every single one of these characters, they come in and they notice his fucking porn stash. Okay, now that's decided. Let's get addle. Oh, yes. Well, if it isn't class rep. <laughs> hey, is that really the first thing you're gonna say? What do you mean? How bad did you think it was gonna be? <laughs> Don't make fun of me in your head. Huh. You don't have to inspect every each and every square inch, you know. Oh. Alright, this is really uncomfortable. About what? <laughs> hey, class rep, how about you tell me why you even came here in the first place? Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever excuse you gotta make. Yeah, but what's the point of looking in my room? Oh yeah? And why is that? Oh god. What? You're just gonna bark out orders? <laughs> well, I mean, come on. In order to stop this ridiculous cooking competition with me as the prize? I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, right. Get off my back. What are you, my mother? Not a chance. Oh, she angry. I'll do it. Please, allow me to do it. Ah, I can do this to me in my own home. I have no choice. Might as well get this over with. First, these scattered magazines. Oh god, th these are... Houston, we have a problem. What, what am I gonna do? Okay, let me just run through my options here. Plan one, own up to it. What's wrong with a man having porn? <laughs> Her fucking brains are snakes. I love it. Oh god, these sound effects. And be eaten alive. Plan two, blame Makoto. Uh, uh these. M Makoto left them here, actually. Same thing. Can we not with the sound effects again? Ugh. I'd still be eaten alive. Plan three, hide them. No. <laughs> what <laughs> Yet again, I'd be eaten alive. <laughs> this is bad. My future's already set in stone. Huh? Has Class Rep's looming presence been making me see things? Oh, I think that's the first time the three idiots have intervened. Class rep's weakness found. <clears throat> yeah, now they show up. She's already gone. What?
ダメダメですよああれ誰もいないねおかしいですわフィアフィクラスラップシュジスラフトオッケーオーライトやなスキップヘッドローフードあはバーバーバーバーバーバーバーバーフードあれあれそれクラスラップクラスラップあいがす<laughs> oh, damn, everybody's shocked. Usually, there's that one person who's just kind of like not that. I guess May is kind of calm about it. Why are you so surprised? Not, not this might have taken. This might make everyone mad, but to me, class reps was the furthest from what I'd imagined. <laughs> I mean, just the fact that she cooked something for me in the first place is unbelievable. <laughs> well, how can I put this? I mean, of course it tasted great and all, but that surprise was the deciding factor for me. <laughs> Large facts. Large facts. <laughs> well, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got nothing to say, of course. Yep, and then the seeds of friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll. So, uh, it's just gonna jump ahead to the next day. Yep, uh huh. I figured. It was really even a point in pausing my timer. Yeah.